So today we're taking a look at yet another Qi 2 wireless charger for the iPhone 15 Pro Max and other accessories. Now this one is by ESR, and if you guys know anything about ESR, they're always ahead of the game. They always come out with their products really quick, and they're always really good for a decent price as well. So today we're gonna take a look at this three-in-one, so let's get into it. Now, on the top it does say, power multiple devices, power in a snap, removable watch charger, portrait and landscape view. So you get this nice little box that has all your you know, presentation stuff here. Get a little bit about the environment right there, a little more diagrams and stuff right here, all kind of the same information down at the bottom. And that's pretty much it. So enough talking about the box, let's open it up. Now I did use this for a couple days now and I have some statistics here on how it charged and everything like that, but we'll get to that shortly. So of course it says become a super user. You guys have seen this before with ESR stuff. There you go, level up your MagSafe. You got all kinds of little flaps and things like that here. Open this flap. You can watch this little quick start guide. How to set this charger up, you can watch that. Feel free to screenshot that or pause it, watch it on your own time. So let's set that off to the side and open it up. So you get some little styrofoam right there. And here we have our charger. So we'll set that off to the side right there for a second. Now, first thing we get is you get the attachment for the Apple Watch charger. So now you guys know the Apple Watch charger does detach from this. So that's nice to see right there. And here we get your charging brick and stuff like that. So let's take a look at that here. Now, like I said, I have been using this for a couple days. I just put this into its packaging to kind of give a good presentation. So let me set this off to the side here. All right, so taking a look, we do have our little power brick. Now this is a 33 watt power brick, but of course this does charge your iPhone at 15 watts. You may get some faster charging speeds for other devices with the MagSafe charging pad if you have MagSafe cases for them, but 15 watts for the iPhone. So let's set that off to the side. Taking a look at this cable, you get this nice little cable management thing. Very nice, pretty long size cable. What is this? I believe this one's it's probably like a good four and a half foot cable. So really nice, decent sized cable from ESR, USB type C to USB type C. Nice to see that. And here is your wall outlet. So this nice little black wall plug and your little USB-C charging port right there. So I'm not gonna actually plug this in right now. I do already have a USB type C cable plugged in. So I just wanted to show this off for the video, but I'm gonna use the other cable for the video for today. So let's set that off to the side and get to the main attraction. So here we go, we have the charger. So set that off. Now, first things first, you do get a pretty decent build quality on here. It is kind of all plastic here, but it's not rattly, it doesn't wobble or anything like that. This charging base does not move. So right here, you do get your MagSafe charging pad. Here is the spot for your AirPods right there. And in here, into this USB-C port, you can plug in your Apple Watch charger, and then this is the USB-C port to charge it. So, nice little base right here, got some little rubberized legs, so if you set this down, it's not really moving anywhere. And let's go ahead, I didn't peel this off, I wanted to save this specifically for the video, let's peel this one off together. There we go. Not as loud or satisfying as I would hope, but whatever, you get what you get. So let's set that off to the side, and take a look at the Apple Watch charger. So now I didn't use the Apple Watch charger just yet. Let me go ahead and take a little knife, unbox this. There we go. All right, let's take a look. So this just kind of slides out. If I can even get this, what's oh, a little bit tight. All right, so become a super user as per usual. There you get a little bit more information on how this works. So it does come with a little cap right there. You can kind of take it off and you set your Apple Watch there onto the charger, or you can even use this to plug into pretty much any other USB Type-C port. This shows a MacBook right there, but you can plug it into a wall charger and be able to use it that way. So a little startup guide, scan that to learn more information, set that off to the side, and here we go. So let's clean this all up a little bit, move that up, oh, and let's take a look. So getting this out of the packaging here, here we have it. So. Right there, you do get your Apple Watch charger. Now let's see if I can't get this to peel off. It's a really small pull tab here. Let me, uh, come on. There we go, all right. There you guys go, nice little ASMR for you from Brian's Tech. <laughs> all right, so let's get into it. Now, here is the Apple Watch charger. This little connector piece cover 
pops off and it just plugs into the back of this. So let's go ahead and nice fit onto there. Nice clean lines. You don't have anything out of place or anything like that. So that always looks nice. And this just goes right on your nightstand or your work table, your desk, wherever you're sitting. There you go. So let's actually go ahead and plug this in. Now, like I said, this does get you that 15 watts of charging for your iPhone. So you're gonna get 15 watts with the MagSafe. Of course, it will be a little bit more with your Android phones, but right now we're talking about the iPhone. Here you do have five watts for the Apple Watch and five watts for the AirPods. Now, they say that from last year's version, which was not Qi 2, to this year's version, you get your Apple Watch charged way faster. So they're saying you're gonna go from dead to full with an Apple Watch in about an hour and 30 to an hour and 40 minutes, depending on which Apple Watch you have. Now, here I have my wife's Apple Watch. As you guys know, I don't have one currently. Don't roast me in the comments. I don't even wanna hear it. <laughs> so we're using her watch today. So we're gonna use this one. Like I said, it does give you that five watts of charging and it'll charge it about an hour and 40 minutes from dead to full with the Apple Watch. Now, with the iPhone, I actually tested this out myself. I was able to get my iPhone from 15% to 100% in an hour and 30 minutes. So from 7 p.m. till 9.30 p.m., I went from 15% to 100% on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, which by the way, this is the Arc Pulse case. Just look at how good that looks together. But anyways, it's not about that, pay attention. So we got, like I said, hour and a half full charge on this. So this thing charges it pretty quickly. Now, of course, you're not getting that, you know, crazy Android charging speeds. You're not getting those 60 watts, those 50, 40 watts, that 100 watts, any of that. You know, I wish we had faster charging speeds, but you get what you get. You don't throw a fit, as they say. So 15 watts on this one. So let's go ahead and actually plug this in. Quit talking. Let's go ahead and plug this in here at the bottom and take a look around. So there we go. On the front, if you guys can see right there, I think that disappears. Let me plug it in again. That way you guys can see that. So right there on the front, you do get a little LED light on there and it does disappear. So if you have this just kind of plugged in, it will disappear after a little while. But let's go ahead and put our 15 Pro Max on here. There we go. We are charging and you get your little MagSafe animation. Then we'll take the Apple Watch. We'll set it right onto the charger right there. That's charging right there. And finally, we will take our AirPods, which are these, I have the AirPods Pro 2, which by the way, this is the monocarbon forged, real forged carbon case for the AirPods, which this thing looks absolutely incredible. But we'll go ahead and set that on here. There we go. And we are completely charging. Let me actually turn this sideways so you guys can see it a little bit better. But we are charging right there and we're charging with all of our devices. Now, by the way, this also has actually a magnet, I believe, let me take this thing out real quick because this doesn't actually have MagSafe built all the way in. All right. So I took the case off just for the video today, but this actually has a magnet built in. So if you guys can see that, that's awesome that you have this magnet built in and it's gonna prevent your AirPods from falling down or anything like that, unless you of course turn it completely. But nobody's doing that, you guys know nobody's doing that. I just do that for the video here, but that's really good attention to detail because sometimes you can bump your charger when you're taking your iPhone off or whatever the case may be, and the AirPods may end up falling off of the charger just because it's you know it gets misaligned or whatever, but having that nice little MagSafe right there is perfect. So. Really nice, super clean setup. Now I did take the phone off just so you guys can kind of see how it looks with the Apple Watch and the AirPods, but a very clean setup, very premium looking. It looks very good. Now, just because it's plastic, it's still got a little bit of weight to it, but this will look super, super clean on your nightstand or your desk, wherever you're using this, it'll look really, really clean. So let's actually try it without. Now, one thing I did want to try is let's see if the AirPods will work on this Apple Watch charger. There we go. We have a connection, it is charging. So that's always cool to see. And let's actually go ahead and take this out just so we can kind of demonstrate what it would look like. If you're someone like me who doesn't own an Apple Watch, this is what you're getting at right here. There you go, you have your iPhone charging, put your AirPods down and you're good to go. This is a super clean, super minimal setup right there. And it's perfect for any situation. I've really been enjoying using this charger 
it's been great to me. It doesn't get very hot. Very good charger all around. I've been very impressed with this. I love the faster charging speeds. That hour and a half charging your phone from almost dead, I was at 15%. So from 15% to full, hour and a half, that's perfect. If you forgot to charge your phone in the middle of the night, you just put this on, go to the bathroom, do what you gotta do in the morning, take your shower, brush your teeth, do everything. You come back and you're gonna be at like 90% to 100% depending on how long you take getting ready in the mornings. But you can easily put this on for a solid hour, get up to that like 75, 80% and you'll be good to go. So really, really have been feeling this charger. I've had a great time using it. And of course your nightstand mode works with that, standby mode, whatever it's called. That'll work right there, perfectly fine with no issues. Your AirPods are charging. And of course, if we go ahead and plug this back in, we can go ahead and put our Apple Watch back on here. And you have a super nice clean setup that doesn't you know, take up a whole bunch of space. This is kind of what it's gonna look like sitting on your desk right there and it's good to go. So this charger does come in this black color, which is what you guys see right here, and it does come in a white color. So whatever color you prefer, the options are there for you, and I'll be sure to leave the links down in the description below for you guys to check out for yourself, but let's talk about the price on this one. So you're talking $79.99. Now, there are a lot of other Qi2 chargers, some more expensive, some a little bit cheaper, but for $79.99, you're getting 15 watt MagSafe charging, you're getting a nice, clean, minimal setup, good build quality, nice attention to detail here so you get the magnets for the AirPods so those don't pop off. Your Apple Watch charger is removable, so that's always nice to see, especially for someone like me who doesn't have an Apple Watch, that's removable. And all around, this is a great charger. Now, on Amazon, which that link will be down below, like I said, I was able to get it for $71.99. So for about $8 off, I got it there. And I've seen a coupon there before for $5 off, $10 off. So pretty reasonable price all around for the package that you're getting here. The great attention to detail, the super clean, very minimal look, the all black, a little bit of shiny here, the rest of it being nice and matte. I've been really liking this. I can definitely recommend this to you guys, and I do recommend it. Go ahead out there and pick one up if you're looking for a Qi2 charger, a three-in-one. You definitely should not miss this one. It's a great option all around. But let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments below. Do you have it? Are you picking one up? I'm really curious to know what you guys think. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're interested in another great Qi2 wireless charging three-in-one option, I'll leave that video right there.